How's it going guys? I want to take a quick moment and show y'all the new project car, the C5. Um, of course, I want to use this car for drifting, but we'll get into that later. But for now, just give y'all guys a quick look at it and walk around the car. Just picked this thing up uh, to replace the 350Z. Still have the 350Z, but I foolishly messed that car up, which I'll show you all that in a later video. But like I said, just gonna give you all a quick look at this. And next time you see it, I got some stuff. I've already got an exhaust for, we'll put that on there. And uh, we're gonna do away with some of the, the mods and stuff I don't like, like the little side trim, the little front grill piece and all that good stuff. But as for now, just gonna be a quick look at it. Just a stock C5. But anyway, just introduce the new car to the new to the channel. So let's get into it. But not very impressive. Like I said, it's just a stock C5 for now. But it has like the Grand Sport uh, C6 wheels on it, which I kind of like. But they're probably going to be too big for what I want to do. And I know you guys know that I'm loving the fact that it's white. But honestly, the main reason I bought the car. Look at this. Yeah, <laughs> black and red interior. My favorite color combo when it comes interior. I think it looks sick. Might be a little hard to keep clean, but it's uh this is a one owner car, so it's fairly clean. It's got some little wear and tear for you know, car is like fairly old. But it should be a fun car to drift and daily around for a little while. That has a lot of red. I definitely want to get rid of some of the stuff like these little trim pieces, all the chrome shiny stuff. <laughs> Still unsure about the little vents down the side. Definitely get rid of the LS1 badge. But it's not extremely clean. It's got like some little rock chips here and there. But for the most part, like I said, it's 100% stock. It's got some kind of little intake up there, or filter. Some cheap coil packs and wires. <laughs> and the hatch didn't shut very well. Yeah. So fire this thing up real quick. Like it's not very impressive. It's 100% stock. And it squeaks pretty bad. But as irritating as that is, I probably won't fix it. I'm just hoping the exhaust is gonna be loud enough to uh, hide the squeak. Very quiet. But yeah, not very impressive now. Like this, 100% stock, but like I said, I got an exhaust for it, full exhaust, so get that done. Angle kit, normal stuff, seat, steering wheel. You know, pretty much what everybody does. Yeah, we'll take it out here in a second. We'll uh, do a couple pulls and do some regular stuff. <laughs> well, this didn't go as planned. <laughs> planned to come here and make a little cookout run, do some reckless stuff or something like that, but uh, sitting in line to get food and I noticed the uh, 
the temperature on this junk getting a little bit high. So I pulled out of line real quick, pulled in the parking lot, and for some reason my fans aren't working. So that sucks. You know what. But if I cut the AC on and the defrost on, I think I got like one fan coming on. I don't, I don't know. So I'm just going to blast the heat on this thing, take the top off, and uh, baby it back to the house because sitting in the parking lot, I can't see what's wrong with it. Fuse is good, relay is good, but my craziness about having to have everything clean, I pressure wash the crap out of the engine. And uh, yeah, who knows? I probably got water and something and screwed it up, but it is what it is. Just stupid, stupid. It's like one in the morning, I'm <laughs> sitting in the parking lot. Ah, jeez. But that's part of being in the cars, I guess. Stuff happens. And all I wanted was some cookout food. Junk. <laughs> oh, man. Had the car for like a couple days now. It's already, I've already broken it. Still looks cool, though. Jeez. Such an idiot. Why not do that? Should have just left it dirty. <laughs> yeah. But usually, unless you get crazy, you don't really run into any issues. And that could, might not be what happened, but I'm just blaming myself for it. But yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to uh, remove the top on this thing. So I'm not like cooking with the heat on. And uh, we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> Cause it didn't get too hot. I think it, like I said, I think it got to rolling around like 205 maybe water temperature, which it's not crazy bad, but definitely higher than what it should be. I think maybe like 210 or something is what it got to. I don't know. I just freaked out. I was like, nope, not supposed to be that warm. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to uh, go ahead and get this done real quick. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> One second. All right. Probably like, it's kind of sucks the car broke, <laughs> but I've been waiting to take the top off this thing anyway, and I wanted to do it on camera. It's just unfortunate it had to be like when this raggedy thing broke. <laughs> but one of the like, one of the pluses of owning one of these turrets, look at that. It's so cool. <sighs> just wish it was under different circumstance, like I was riding, cruising the beach or something. You got a nice little place to store it. That's kind of cool, so. Just, I hope I make it home without having to have this thing towed or something stupid because that's gonna suck. But we'll get some quick, like, uh, shots of it. It's kind of cool. I haven't had like a car with like a sunroof, well, not a sunroof, but I haven't had a car with like T tops or a target top or a convertible in like a while, so it's kind of cool. I know I'm gonna enjoy that, but not tonight, that's for sure. But yeah, I think like the last car I had that was convertible was like an FC RX-7. And uh, that thing was pretty fun. Even though, you know, convertible RX-7s are kind of like, eh. <sighs> well, no burnout this video. Definitely a burnout, maybe some drifting, whatever. Next video, which is the whole purpose of this car. Once I fix it, I guess. But anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. And we'll see you on the next one. You guys probably can't hear me. It seems to be working. Cruising. Top film heat's on like full blast kill mode. We're like 174, so not too bad. I know I ended the video a second ago, but I figured, why not? <laughs> so, it sucks having issues, but because it's a really nice night.
pricey stuff. Uh, yeah. Still pumped. I'm happy. <laughs> I just gotta get this thing sorted and figure out what's going on with my bed. I'm pretty sure I just got something wet, like a relay or something. So it is what it is. We're heading home. It's all good. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you stick around, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We've got some cool Corvette content coming. First trip to Ben with all that good stuff. So, sweet. Alright, see you on the next, guys.